Hello everyone and welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, we are going to learn the difference between overfitting and underfitting models. Okay, so let's assume that we have, we're trying to obtain the relationship between these two features, x1 and x2. And these red dots, these are the dots that are coming from the training data. So that's, these are my training data. And let's assume that I went right there. I am just, you know, maybe a beginner in machine learning. And I said, let's, you know what, let's go ahead and train a linear learner model or a linear regression model like that, that green line, okay, to try to fit this data that I have here, okay. So this simple, this model is basically too simple. So it's just a straight line. However, my problem or my data points are actually nonlinear, okay, they are too complex. So this indicates that my model right now is underfitting the training data. Why? Because this model is just too simple. It cannot reflect the complexity of the training data set. So you will find that if you have a highly nonlinear data and you try to fit a linear learner model, you will find that you generally don't get great results. Okay? You will find that the model is just trying so hard to model it, but, but it's just it's, it's, it can't. I think of this as, you know, let's assume that you have like a, like a truck Okay, and you are asking a beginner driver, you know, who used to drive cars to go there and drive a truck. Okay, so in general, they will mess up. They will, you know, they will make an accident, you know, or, or something. Why? Because again, they are not trained for it. They don't have the skill set to do it. They are just too simple. Okay, so we can overcome underfitting by simply first increasing the complexity of the model, maybe adding nonlinearity in my model maybe train a deep learning model, artificial neural network, for example, or maybe try another type of, um, of, uh, of regression models, just, you know, not just a simple linear line. The next one or the next point is maybe you need to train the model for a longer period of time, maybe to have more epochs, for example, that might reduce the error, okay? So these are what we call it underfitting models. Another extreme, which is what we call an overfitting models. Again, I have the same data points, and now I went all in. I said, you know what, let's go ahead and have a 10th order polynomial model. So now I have a 10th order polynomial, very complex, like a massive artificial neural network with tons of neurons, with nonlinear activation functions, like, again, like a super, you know, super network. And now you have been able to actually fit a perfect fit to the training data. Okay, so now the model has been able to train, to, to learn all the different ins and outs of the training data, but, you know, like from a very high level, you can say, you know what, that's actually a good model. You know, the model is, is, is good. It's, it's generating almost error, zero error, okay? However, these models, we call them, are overfitting the training data. They learn all the details of the training data. However, they fail to generalize. If you actually apply this model in practice, you will find that these models just mess up. They don't do well on the testing data, however, they do great on the training data. So these models are overfitting the data when they try to memorize all the specific details of the training data and they generally fail to generalize. And overfitting models tend to, again, perform very well on the training, but they perform very poorly on the testing. And machine learning is simply the art of trying to create a model that is able to generalize and to avoid memorization. Again, I need a model that's able to generalize on both the training and testing data, and I don't want a model to just memorize exactly all the ins and outs of the training data, and it fails to generalize. Okay, so now let's take a look at maybe the generalized model, like the best model. Again, I have the same data points, and maybe if I have a model kind of in between, like a little bit smooth model like that, that takes, again, the shape kind of of the training data, but it doesn't go here and, and just do all these like, you know, like um, windings that, I, that we had here. We actually have like a smooth fit and maybe that's a little bit more of a generalized model and that maybe that's the model. That's what we're looking for. We're looking for a model that is capable of generalizing the on the training data and doing well as well on the testing data as well. OK, so that's kind of, you know, a very kind of uh, crash course on uh, model overfitting and underfitting. And that's all what I have for this lecture. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please enjoy AWS SageMaker practical course, and I will see you guys in the next lecture.